are you a backup plan to someone or you are on your own you are original who are you this morning you see there are some people in your life to them you are a backup plan when there is no option that is when they call you when they feel like oh this one dear oh no one no one can do it better than you then they call you but when it comes of first choice the first person to contact when we need a b and c they don't include you are you a backup plan or you are original before i do that i'll play my team song then we will dive into what we call don't be a backup plan to anyone yes thank you so much for joining me the name is king james please like share comment and also call a friend to call a friend to always get tuned to kj radio your number one world class radio station uh, we call this one motivation let's motivate ourselves for the day so come closer and pay attention don't be a backup plan are you a backup plan never be a backup plan you are original if you are not the first choice then let them forget about you you cannot be compared to failures you cannot compare to people who are trying you are an original what am i trying to tell you this morning choose people who chooses you you are not a backup plan choose people who chooses you you are not a backup plan you can never be a backup plan you see the only time you, people take us that yes we are a backup plan is when we don't keep ourselves being original because they can't really tell who we are we are we are like this today we are like this tomorrow so when they are having their discussion who to give a certain contract to your name do not pop up first but when they run around and then they feel they come to you so my dear listen to me choose people who choose you the underlying word here is choose the people around you did you choose them or they choose you if you are choosing them and then they are choosing another person then go to the next person who will choose you accept people who will accept you don't accept them whereby they they do not accept you so just some few days ago someone asked me why is it that the person that you love that person do not love you but love another person and the person that says that he loves you 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 don't really love that person why is it so my dear if you are listening to me and then you have a answer to this question you can drop it at the comment section he said why is it that the person that you love that person do not love you but love someone else but the one that you do not love those are the people that come to you that they love you why is it so it is because we are confused we don't know what we want you see when you are not accepted in certain area the best thing you have to do is to move on and go to the next chapter but the thing is that we want to force ourselves in a hole that it is not our home we want to force ourselves to an environment that that environment do not accept who you are you mm? want to be in an environment that they do not care about who we are instead of us going to the environment that will accept who we are what we have and what we can do we rather want to be at a place that they do not even recognize our presence so this morning if you will be able to choose people who will choose you then you can get to where you want to get to you see i always tell you that one step at a time one step at a time don't force yourself to take two steps at a time you might crash don't put it in your mind that oh 
this friend of yours is going at the fastest pace so you also have to change your skills and then run as your friend is running you will crash that is why you push yourself to be at an environment that they do not accept you and then you see you'll be crying that ah why is it that anything that i do they don't see it anything that i i do they don't even recognize me notice not every environment not every organization that you can function so well so you see it is very difficult mm, to get a job to do but when you get a job and then you realize that you don't belong to this place you better look for another place mm, than to be there and whatever that you do they do not see it whatever that you say they do not even recognize it it's like oh just leave him let him let him do anything that thing alone pains more than anything so if you don't if you don't choose people who choose you if you don't choose people who choose you you will be at an environment hmm, that you're going to regret being there for a very long time i know somebody who have worked in an organization that you see they wish that he quit they don't want to they don't want to sack him so they will pay any uh, penalty or anything but they wish he will quit so they they intentionally set some plans for him so he can fall into those plans so they can use they will, they will stand on that to sack him the environment that this my brother find himself in is not environment that he have to be there but one day this guy said that okay enough is enough it's better for me to resign than for me to wait for these people to succeed in their plan so let me leave this organization and then look for a job in another place when he finally did within two months this guy has been able to change location has been able to buy himself a car a good car has been able to even get married now this person has spent six years of his life in this organization and he was not able to do something better for himself until he realized that he need to choose people who choose him he, now his life begin to change you do not belong to every environment not every environment would accept you some of the environment you do not belong there but because of situation because of something that has led you to be at that place when you discover that you do not belong to that environment my dear brother listening to me my dear sister listening to me you need to change that environment you need to change that environment you see people will always take us for backup because it seems that we are not that serious of our own self you see when you realize that in life hmm, success start from the mindset if you succeed it start from here if people will take you serious it start from you yourself that is why they say that respect is reciprocal what you give is what you get but if you are giving and then you are not getting what do you have to do go to the people who will give it to you back but don't be at an at an environment that they will not even recognize whatever that you are doing my dear brother listen to me you see it is not too late it is never late to change the people around you it is not late to change the people who are around you when you don't change some people around you look you're going to make certain decisions you wish you wouldn't have taken that decision and i you see when you are not able just take a football as an example a good coach will change players when he realized that he is losing a match a good coach will change certain players on the field when they realize that they are not performing whether that person is the best player of the team or he he's he's the world-class player when the coach a good coach realized that this person is not performing the best thing a best coach would do would change that person and then bring another person in so the person can change the game so 
when you realize that in your match in your circle there are some people who are playing the football for you a key player or somebody who is who is doing so much for you is not performing well but that is the person who is eating you so much more you need to change that person until you change those people you can never proceed to the next level so my dear brother listen to you choose people who choose you if you don't choose people who choose you my dear the person you are choosing if that person do not choose you they will always sell you out they would always sell you out so now today it has been a, 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 it has become the norm ah let me sell this guy Charlie uh, let me mami ma so you see i've once worked in an in an organization that there was this gentleman what he does is that he will friend you now when after friending you to a certain level he now send certain information about you to the ceo looking for your looking that they will sack you when he realized that you are doing better than him and then you, you you can become more relevant than him now when he friend you when you have a conversation with him a certain conversation or a certain things when you have it with him he will now send your information to the ceo and then when care is not taken they will sack you this happened for many years a lot of people were being sacked a lot of people were being sacked through his manipulation you see one if you don't choose people who choose you they will be the people who will eat you up and then they, you will lose whatever that you are looking for